When sharks are brought up or mentioned, many of us mainly picture the larger species, like the tiger and great white sharks, though what most of us know on them is actually a very small slice of their true diversity, with many of them exhibiting very distinct body plans, dietary preferences and habitats to what we usually think of them having. So, to start off this year's Shark Week, it seems apt therefore to go over just how wide-ranging and diverse they are, before delving into more specific species, many of which that will later be covered are also extinct. To begin broadly, sharks belong to the larger subclass of Elasmobranchii, being distinct from the other Elasmobranchs, the Supraordobatoidea comprising the raisin scales, and with the Chimeras being classified in their own subclass, being Holocephali. In the clade of Solacomorpha, sharks are further divided into two superorders, the Squallions, the more basal of the two, and the Gallians, being supported by recent molecular studies, which from there make up a range of the living shark diversity we see today. The squallions make up about two-thirds of said shark diversity, being mainly characterised by the lacking of traits like the anal fin, suborbital shoals in their skulls, as well as nictitating membranes over their eyes. They comprise of four orders, being the squatiniforms, the angel sharks, the prisioforiforms, the saw sharks, the squaliforms, comprising dogfish, and finally the hexanchiforms, comprising of cow and frilled sharks, alongside others. The Gallians, while not being as diverse, are definitely among the go-to visual for when we think of sharks, and contain some of the more well-known and charismatic forms as we'll get into. They are formed by the heterodontiforms, the bullheads, eructolobiforms, the carpet sharks, mainly comprising of more benthic forms like the wobbegong and nurse sharks, but also the larger sharks of them all, also being pelagic, the whale sharks. The last two comprise of the carcariniforms, the ground sharks, animals like the blue and tiger sharks, that and the hammerheads which are distinguished from the other groups by the presence of the generally elongated snouts and an ictitating membrane which helps to shield their eyes, either when they attack or are defending themselves to prevent further harm. The last group are the lamniforms, comprising of the well-known mackerel sharks like the great whites, as well as more unusual members like the megamouth, thresher and goblin sharks, not to mention the extinct otodontids, which includes megalodon. Of course, a video like this one only covers the very surface of the variety of sharks out there, not to mention all of the extinct ones. So I hope you all learned something new through the upcoming Shark Week videos, and that with all of it, your appreciation will increase from wherever it was beforehand. All in all, I thank you for watching this video on these animals, and that you may have learned something new. If you would like to see more from this channel, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, I'll see you next time, for the first videos of Shark Week.